Hey, what's up, Anthony? What's up, man? Hey, what's up, brother? So, Anthony, are you excited to fight Jose Aldo? Yeah, man. I think. Uh, I mean, when I called Jose Aldo out, it was uh, it wasn't because I seen a flaw in his game. I, I think, uh, you no, know, I think him that I can I can beat him on. I just I think he's one of the toughest opponents for me to fight right now, and that's and that's what I'm here to do is fight big fights. And uh, I think that's what the world wants to see. I mean, me versus Jose Aldo, it's fireworks. What do you think about Jose Aldo as a fighter? Uh, he's amazing. I mean, he's he's a champ for a reason. He's been there for a long time. Um, he's dominating everybody at 45. Um, so he's on he's on the, on, on the top pound for pound best fighter list. So I mean, he, that speaks for itself right there. I mean, he just he, he's a very good fighter. Anthony, Jose Aldo, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So do you have any concern if that fight go to the ground? Uh, no, I mean I think uh, Jose Aldo's one of them guys that it does what I do. We, you know, we keep expanding. We like to we like to finish our opponents with strikes. Um, we both are, are very good on the ground. Um, he, he's a black belt, um, I, but I feel like my skills are on black belt level. Um, when it comes to, like, to grappling, I, I've I mean I've never been in trouble in any of my fights. You know whether it was standing or or in the grappling game. I um, mean I fought the champ, but Henderson, very good grappler. I mean he 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 tried to take me down. It, it, it was uh, it was it was good. But, um, I mean, I, I don't think Jose Aldo's going to try to take me down. I think he's going to try to stand in with me, and uh, you know, it's going to be he's gonna be a war. Tell me a little bit about your ground game, brother, about your, your jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I just, uh, actually, I just moved, I just trained, I started training with uh, the team Marias, with Daniel and Diego Marias, um, two very, very good uh, grapplers, um, very, very detail-oriented. I mean, they got, they're teaching me some details that uh, you know, I've never seen before, and, and, and they, uh, and they adapted very well for mixed martial arts. I mean, they're not the guys that teach you jiu-jitsu to win tournaments. They teach you jiu-jitsu to win fights. And, uh, and that's what it's all about. I mean, you you can have a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but it, it's different when you're, you know, in a fight. When you're in the fight, I mean, all, all, the, all the great fighters know that. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a faster pace. Um, and my game plays well into that. Uh, I'm really good off my back, and, and I, uh, I attack at all angles. I'm always attacking. Tell me about your evolution as a fighter. Yeah, so uh, I started Taekwondo when I was five, um, just as a hobby. It was something that uh, I was doing just to, you know, just for fun to stay out of trouble. Um, and I also boxed as a kid. Uh, my cousin was a professional boxer, so I was training with him also. So Taekwondo and boxing were my, my, my base martial arts. And then I, I uh, went into uh, kickboxing and jiu-jitsu when I was about 18, 19. So I'm relatively new at uh, you know, jiu-jitsu and, and wrestling, but um, I, I learned really fast and I adapted, you know, very well. So... Um, that's why, I mean, I, I feel very confident in my stand-up skills. It's something I've been doing since, uh, pretty much since I can walk. I've been doing kicking and punching. Um, and um, it's just uh, a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. And I, I, I dedicated myself to, to four or five different martial arts at the same time that uh, led me to where I'm at today. How are you planning to stop Jose Aldo? Jose, uh, Jose Aldo is a very, very good stand-up fighter, but he, he's never fought anybody on the level of my stand-up skills. Um, so he's going to go in there... What a guy who's uh, equally matched stand up. I mean, I've been doing kickboxing my whole life. I've been blocking kicks and throwing kicks since I was five years old. So I don't think it's going to be a big problem for me to, to stop his kicks. Um, it's just going to be one of them uh, fights that uh, whoever makes the first mistake you know, is going you know, to lose the fight. So um, I'm, I'm very confident everywhere in this fight. I think I pose a, a very big threat to Jose, although in all aspects, uh, especially in the stand up. Um, I'm just so unpredictable and I, I have so much uh, so many details of my strikes that uh, I think it's going to be hard for him to, to, to get off with his stand up. Are you guys playing any chains in the training camp for this fight? Yeah, um, for sure. My, I, I'm going to keep my training camp where I always do my training camp, right at home in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, we'll probably bring in some uh, some new bodies and some different uh, some different sparring partners. But, um, I mean, the fight just, just got put together, so uh, I'm going to let my coaching take care of uh, you know, my sparring partners and, and who, uh, who, you know, who we're going to bring in. Um, also, I'm going to be making a trip to Brazil uh, in the next month, uh, get some better better training with uh, the Marais brothers. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I mean, just just continue what I've been doing. I mean, what I've been doing is working, and uh, I think uh, I think I, I'll pose a big threat to Jose Aldo. Are you going to Brazil? Yeah, I'm going with with Marias, Daniel and Diego Marias. I'm going to uh, train next month, uh, end of March. Oh, nice, man! How long are you going to stay in Brazil training? Uh, right now, right now it's scheduled for uh, ten days, but I'm thinking two weeks. Oh, nice, man! Yeah, I'll just I'll straight jujitsu. I mean, get the gi on, and then and just get after it. Can you tell me something about your diet? I work. Uh, I work with uh, Eric Trilogy. Um, he's a nutritionist out of uh, California. Um, I've been with him for about four or five camps now, 
and uh, he's been making it easy to get down to 55. And that's one of the biggest decisions. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why I made the decision to move to 45 is because uh, I haven't been having to cut weight at all to get to 55. Um, so uh, he has a he has got a very strict clean diet. Um, I, I eat I eat every day just for fuel. I mean, I, my food doesn't taste good, but it does what it's supposed to do. It fuels my body and allows me to recover and, and train the way I'm supposed to train. Anthony, do you really believe, man? You can be the first UFC champion in two different weight divisions. Um, yeah, I mean, I I feel like my skills are right there. I mean, uh, I think Jose Aldo is probably the biggest threat out of uh, you know even even the guys at 155. I already beat Ben Henderson, so I think he needs to want to fight me. Um, but Jose Aldo, that's the guy who uh, no no one can beat him. So that's 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 what intrigued me to take this fight is because he's been stopping everybody. I mean, the one the the, the old 155 champ Frank Edgar who beat BJ Penn, you know, lost to him. So it says a lot. Do you know if the, the, the fight's going to be in Brazil or in the United States? I don't know yet. I, I know for sure it's going to be August 3rd, and uh, I don't know where it's going to be. I heard I heard Brazil, Vegas, Chicago, or uh, Canada. Is there any advantage for Jose Aldo if the fight is in Brazil? I don't think so, man. I mean, it doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, the, the fans the fans ain't inside the octagon with you. I fought that Henderson in his hometown for his title. So uh, if, it, if the fight's in Brazil, I'm comfortable with that. I can get a free vacation in Brazil. What do you think about the about Brazil and what do you think about the Brazilian fighters, bro? Um, I, I love Brazil. I've never been there yet, so I'm very excited to go there. But uh, I've seen pictures. I'm I've seen with a lot of people from Brazil, and uh, I mean, you guys are very good at fighting. I mean, you guys, are, you guys are really, you guys evolved the game of uh, mixed martial arts, and uh, a lot of respect for for you know all the Brazilian fighters. I mean, you guys are uh, are athletes, and and you guys, I mean, it shows. Look at all the champions in the UFC. I mean, you got Anderson Silva, Jose Aldo. Uh, you know, you got, um, I mean, Bigfoot that just made big waves for herself. So, a lot, a lot of great fighters coming out of Brazil, and uh, I respect it, man. Whatever those good martial artists, uh, I always respect it. Who is your favorite fighter? A Anderson Silva is my favorite fighter. He's a, a true martial artist, and uh, he, he, he never changes, man. He's one of them guys that just gets after it. Are you expecting any trash talk for this fight? Yeah, no, I don't I don't have no trash talk to say against all of them. I mean, I didn't, as I said, I didn't take the fight because I think... Uh, he has holes in his game, or I didn't take it because uh, I want to prove that I'm, I'm I'm way better than him or anything like that. I took it because he's the biggest challenge uh, around my weight class, and that's what I'm looking for. So uh, a lot of respect for Jose Zalo, for Jose Zalo's uh, martial arts, and uh, I think it's going to be a great fight. And it's what the fans want to see. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I want to be part of the big fight and, and give the fans what they want to see. In your opinion, your stand-up game, is that good because you have a good jiu-jitsu? Yeah, for sure. That's the biggest reason why my stand-up game... Uh, I wouldn't say that's why it's so good, but that's why I'm so comfortable taking big risks. Because uh, if I get taken down, I'm not afraid to be on, on my back. I'm not afraid to be on the ground. I mean, I'm I'm equally as good there. If you look at my record, I mean, I got as much knockouts as I do submissions. Best of luck, man. And August, I'm looking forward to see your fight. Take care, man. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. bye. bye.